This episode of D News is brought to you by Squarespace. And then they inject that into your vest deference and it clogs everything up. Oh my god, this is great! I want to do it! It's it's awesome, it's not legal, oh. but they do have a pill. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching D News Today. I'm Trace, and we have a special guest, Coastal Grammatis from Al Jazeera. And we're gonna talk about the male anatomy, right? Yeah. That's fun. Starting my first D News story with a bang, Indonesia is trying a new type of male birth control from the Justicia gandarosa plant. The plant has been used by locals for male contraception for centuries. They chew the leaf, and then they don't get their lady partner preggers. And now, thanks to 30 years of research in Indonesia, it's soon to be available in a 99% effective contraceptive pill. <laughs> to Indonesians only, maybe. <laughs> yeah, not, not here until the FDA looks at it, which might take a decade or two or 12, assuming they do it in the first place. Right, which they don't necessarily have plans to do at all. Who knows? Right. The researchers analyze and synthesize a key molecule in the genderosa plant, and after five days of treatment, protein bands on the tip of the sperm cells were deactivated, though sperm numbers and motility were normal. The proteins help the sperm fuse with the egg, and although I did have trouble finding exactly what those bands were in the research, I'm guessing they're talking about acrosome formation. After stopping the pill, the sperm returned to normal within 30 days, so this could be a legit, reversible male birth control pill if we can get more info on it and maybe get the FDA to approve it. What we know so far is a bit sparse. The extract has been turned into a pill by pharmaceutical company PT Indopharma, and clinical trials have been running since 2009. The latest third phase clinical trial included 350 people and had a 99.96% success rate. That seems high. However, even though they've been doing this research since the 80s, all the papers I found were in Indonesian, and my Indonesian isn't that good. That's probably better than mine, though. This isn't even the first non-FDA approved birth control. We talked about vasal gel on DNews before, and there are other male contraceptive methods like condoms, vasectomies. None of these are new, which got us thinking. Ladies have got pills and IUDs, rings and patches, which is really weird. Why is it that making a contraceptive pill or whatever is so damn elusive. Research into male contraceptives has been going on in the US for over 60 years. But economically speaking, until the mid 70s when child support was signed into law, the cost of getting pregnant was borne mainly by the ladies. Hmm. Born. No pun intended. <laughs> Companies didn't have a lot of incentive to make a pill for men who weren't worried about money. Not to mention the original female birth control pill wasn't even invented to make the lives of ladies better. That came later. It was invented during the Cold War to promote population control and capitalism. This is according to America and the Pill by Donna Drucker. Additionally, researchers say with female birth control, you only have to control one egg in a month. In males, you have to control millions of sperm thousands every day. That's according to a doctor from the University of Minnesota. There are scientists in the US working on contraception pills to paralyze the sperm with epin, a protein that coats them so they can't move. It didn't work. Oh. They also tried to raise testosterone, which causes infertility by shutting down gonadotropins, which is why bodybuilders sometimes become infertile. They've even tried removing retinoic acid formation in the testes, which would mean no sperm production, but that didn't work either. Long story short, we've got top minds working on this, but it's not gonna be solved unless there's a way to stop making all them sperms. But there also has to be some kind of economic benefit. So maybe there is that now if people are willing to buy pills because they weren't in the past. Anyway, we'd like to thank Squarespace for this episode of D News. Squarespace recently launched the latest version of their platform, Squarespace 7, which has a completely redesigned interface, integrates with Getty Images and Google Apps, new templates, and an incredible feature called Cover Pages. Try the new Squarespace at squarespace.com slash dnews, and you can enter the offer code dnews at checkout to get 10% off. Squarespace, start here, go anywhere. Guys, what do you think? Would you take a birth control pill every day that was 99% effective? I feel like I would. I feel like I'd do that. Go down into the comments, let us know your feelings on the subject, and make sure you subscribe for more D News. And Costa, what if people want to find you? Where can they go? You can follow me on Twitter at KGram and on Facebook too, Costa Grimatis.